There we go, up and running, hello boys and girls, welcome to another raffle for TVC. This is a winner picks between Elvis or the Beatles, number ones. Um, yeah, pretty straightforward choice that one. Um, I had the Elvis one up a few times and no one's really been into it. I don't think there's many uh, King fans uh, on this page. So I imagine that most of you, if not all of you, are playing for the Beatles. But we'll find out. Only four of you in it, uh, Crispy and Michael and Dave all picking up three each, making use of that multi-spot deal. And then we've got the one and only uh, one-hit wonder, Keith. So, there we are. There's the runners and riders. Um, back on the bingo balls uh, these days. I've got a new set of balls with them. And they're grey, so they're really hard to see. Um, so I've, I'm using the white balls, which are from my old bingo ball machine, but they're slightly small, so sometimes they just drop out the bottom when I'm spinning them. If that does happen, the ball that drops out is considered drawn, okay? Anyway, um, I think I'm going to... Tilt the camera down so you can see the apparatus rather than my ugly mug um, because that's the important part. Right, off we go. Uh, let's give it a little mix first. I have noticed the slower I go, the less likely they are to fall through this gap. Maybe I'll just bend the wires in a little bit. A little bit of engineering. What do you reckon? Do you reckon that'll make a difference? Let's see. Off we go. That one worked. Number four. Uh, Dave. Oh, that one fell out. See what I mean? Still comes out and drawn. So it's it's just it's just ugly rather than uh, anything else. One is Crispian. Let's go slow again. See if that uh, helps. Yeah, it's the speeds. It's the velocity of the ball hitting the the wires. That seems to be the issue, but I will sit and work that one out. Either that or I'll get the grey balls out. Number five, that's Keith. We've lost our one hit wonder. Sorry, brother. Thanks for playing, man. Number seven, Dave. Number ten, that's a double hit for Dave. And it's worse than that, it's these last two spots. That's double, bubble, and burst. Sorry, man, we lose you there. Thanks for playing. That's five down, five left. Two for Crispian, three for Michael. Number six, let's get a bit closer. Number six is Crispian. Well, it's the final, and Michael is three one up. Are we going to get a comeback, or is this going to end it? Let's have a look. It's number eight. Oh, keeps the dream alive for Crispian, because that's one of Michael's. Michael is 2-1 up. So this will either be sudden death, or it will be an anti-climax. It is number two. Number two is Crispian. So it is going to be an anti-climax, I'm afraid. Thanks for playing, Crispian. We lose you there. The last two balls belong to Michael. So we'll just confirm that by going through the formality of drawing them. Runner up is number nine. Ninth ball pulled is number nine, if you're into coincidences. That's Michael. So unlucky, Michael. But luckily, the last one is also yours. Oh, and it's number three. Number three again. I get excited when number three uh, wins because it's my favourite number. It's the number I always pick if it's available. So, number three, the magic number. Uh, congratulations, Michael. All right, let me just write that down, and I can go back to hello. So, congratulations, Michael. PM me your details, and equally as importantly, PM me your choice of prize. Everyone else, thanks for playing, and um, see you all in the next one. Cheers now. Bye. Where's the off button? Yeah.